What's going on, everybody? My name's Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. Uh, no snappy intro today because I'm not out fishing. I am talking to a gentleman that I will be fishing with very soon. Uh, I'm talking with my friend Drew Matusik. He is the is it the president of the Chicago Land Muskie Hunters? I'm the vice president. Okay. Right on. So we have the vice president of the Chicago Land Muskie Hunters, and what we are talking about today is the Lady of the Lake Muskie Fishing Tournament held on Lake Geneva. This year it's going to be October 19th. That's a Saturday. And what year is this for this tournament, Drew? This is the fifth year annually for it. So, you know, we've been going on five years. It's been going strong. Awesome. And I've actually fished with Drew the last two years of the tournament. We had a real sporty shot at winning the thing last year. I had two fish up. And uh, just couldn't get, I, I got hooks into one and it came off and the other one was just being st a stupid muskie and bumping the bait. But it's it's a really fun tournament. Um, how many boats did you have last year and how many do you think you'll have this year? All right. So to put it in perspective, we started our first year with 27 boats. Fast forwarding to last year, we had 61 boats. So it's a, it's a growing tournament. I plan to surpass 61 boats um based on the dates and the data that i have uh we're right on par for that um so um it's growing for for a good reason i mean you know the whole principle behind it you know we're all non-for-profit and the whole point of the tournament is for our stocking fund and stocking has come up. It's been all over Facebook. Uh, I know, I mean, I haven't really dove into it that <laughs> heavily, but I know the Wisconsin yeah. DNR really doesn't have the money that they used to to continue the stocking program across the board, not just muskies, I believe. But I think it's going to be more and more important for private clubs. And you guys are an Illinois club stocking in Wisconsin Lake. So anybody that wants to, you know, the, there's the whole Illinois, Wisconsin thing, you know, when it comes down to something like this, Lake Geneva is an amazing fishery. And I, I don't mind saying where it is, obviously. I mean, we want people to know where it is, but I don't mind talking about what an amazing fishery it is. You know, you might have some guys out there saying, oh, shh, you don't want to talk about it. It's a 5,000 acre lake. It's not 120 acre northern wisconsin lake that you have to be super careful about people know about this lake it's super popular anyway and the only way we're going to get it stocked with more muskies is to bring light of the fact that it is an amazing fishery i think so sort of gatekeeping <laughs> lake geneva for lack of a better term i just don't think it's it's prudent uh, as far as we're talking about trying to get more fish into the lake yeah, you're you're not gonna gatekeep that lake, no matter which which way you say or or what video you post. Um, we're there. There's no secrets in musky fishing. The, the only way to catch big muskies is to go fishing. So, you know, you you have to be out there and doing it anyways. And I'm sorry if you could hear those notifications, but uh, that's all. Th those are all tournament stuff. I I've been getting flooded with questions, you know, either via messenger or email. Um, but yeah, there's there's definitely no gatekeeping Geneva, and it, and it's kind of funny how you have to fish them out there because it's not like anything else that we're used to. You know, we're used to throwing shorelines and weed edges and. Those fish are out there, and they're big. And we have, you know, the studies with uh, the DNR. This year, in the spring of 2024, we did um, we did uh, a netting and pit tagging operation that we're working with the DNR and Travis Modal. And, uh, you know, we netted 47 and, a, and I believe, a 48-incher. Mm -hmm. Um, trying to see if I could share my screen, but anyways, um, I'll send you the picture so you can flash them up. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. You know, they're getting big now. Now those fish that you could flash up, they're they're not from our first class. That's when the DNR started stocking 
in 2010. But, uh, but yeah, that, you know, a 47 and a 48. Now I know, you know, guys fishing for bluegill off season, they've been catching fifties. So Mm -hmm. they're growing and the Cisco population is, is definitely what's helping feed that. So if, if that's what you're looking to put in your tackle box, go for something like that. Right. And I, <laughs> I feel like we're jumping all over the place and, and I, it's just cause we're, we're, I think we're both so excited about uh, what we've got here in Southern Wisconsin, because like you said, you've got a, a body of water that's 5,000 acres. You've got a max depth of what, 200 plus feet. You've got mm-hmm. a Cisco forage basin, which does nothing but grow giant predator fish. I mean, look at the walleyes out there, the bass and the pike and the muskies now. So, oh, yeah, I mean, there's just, there's so many things to talk about. But like you mentioned, it's not your typical just go bang a bunch of shorelines or even a weed edge. I mean, when I've been out there and fished with my friend Andy Shearer, who guides out there, we're out in the depths, man. And our structure isn't necessarily anything that's on the lake bottom or on the shoreline. It's balls of Cisco. So it's it's another... What do I want to say? It's another thing that kind of would keep masses of fishermen off because it's a tough body of water to fish. It's really hard to fish open water muskies and try to cast at schools of bait fish and not just bang shorelines like most people are used to doing. So I think that's another thing that sort of keeps a, lot, a ton of musky fishermen off the lake. I mean, you're you're obviously going to have all sorts of all kinds of fishermen out there all the time. I mean, when I've been out there in the middle of the week, you're fishing two to four foot waves on a calm day because of all the all the boats going by. But um, yeah, just I mean, what a cool body of water. And if you can figure it out, because I've been out there on days where we contacted a dozen fish, and I mean, like you said, they're all big healthy fish i caught a couple mid 40s one day with andy the day you and i were out on the tournament last year we saw a couple of decent fish um and the fact that these things are touching that 50 inch range already and not like 50 inch like a 50 incher like a giant 50 incher uh it's just going to be it's a world-class body water it's going to be yeah, I mean that's that's the whole goal is you know the premier Wisconsin body of water where you don't have to travel to Canada. You could take your mm-hmm. kids too, and uh, you know you don't need a passport or anything like that. You know you can you can go after them. Uh, you have to fish it different, but I mean that's part of the fun of it is you know mm-hmm. you you don't get to see that many, but the ones that you do get to see, they're getting big. Oh yeah. And it's, it is really cool. Uh, I know a couple of the fish that I've uh, had come up to the boat, they're literally coming up like this. Like you look at the water and you see the chin of a muskie coming up at your bait because they're coming <laughs> out of uh, out of the depths like that. Um, and I, I would like to mention too, uh, and if there's anybody you'd like to mention, Drew, go for it. But uh, Andy Shira, Veteran Guide Service, and uh, Austin Wiggerman, uh, Austin Wiggerman Guide Service. I'll link both of those two in the description below. But those two guys have, they're pretty dialed in out there. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure both of them have fished this tournament. In fact, Andy and his buddy won it two years ago, if I if I remember right. But uh, so we're starting to get a couple of yep, people out that's there. that's correct. Kind of know the water. Yep, yep. Uh, starting to get some, some guides out there that know the water that can get people out there and get after these giant fish. I don't know if you know anybody else that's guiding muskies out there. Uh, guiding muskies, no, but... Catching muskies, yes, and uh, to be fair, they're walleye guys. But, you know, it's yep. a, a tremendous night bite that's out there. Mm-hmm. And a, a lot of those guys are fishing for, rolling for walleyes, and it's like, you know, if I could just hook one on a leech, that would be nice too. But <laughs> we don't fish like that. Nope, we sure don't. We probably should, but we don't. <laughs> no, so what don't. was the... What was the first year that Chicagoland muskie hunters uh, contributed to the stocking of Lake Geneva? And how many fish were stocked? 
Okay, so the first year was 2018, and we were able to get our hands on 320 Leech Lake strain. Mm -hmm. um, fast forwarding to 2019, our Leech Lake strain was, and I'm sorry, I'm looking at notes, but uh, mm -hmm. we were able to stock 950 Leech Lake strain, and then 2020 hit COVID, and we weren't able to stock. Fast forward to 2021, and we put in 1,200 Leech Lake strain. And the, and the Leech Lake strain comes from uh, our our fisheries director, Kevin Butts. I mean, he he felt that that Leech Lake strain would do particularly good in uh, Geneva. You know, the hydrology and forage base was there. So we've been working with the WDNR and uh, put together a five-year plan on Leech Lake strain. Every year we haven't been able to put in Leech Lake strain. I mean, uh, 2023, we put in uh, the Wisconsin River strain, which is mm -hmm. more like Chippewa Flowage. We put 950 plus 1,375 Leech Lake strain all in the same year. So, I mean, that was really because of uh, COVID and there wasn't fish available, so we were able to double down on funds. And then, so we could even fast forward to 2024, uh, 1,400 of the Wisconsin River strain went in just in September 19th of this year. And, you know, there there's so many big contributors to that. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, usually the fish that we stock are between 9 and 12 inches. Uh, just this year we put in, I would say, based on my notes, about $18,000 just in this one year worth of fish. Mm -hmm. So and and in total, it's a it's about a hundred thousand dollars that we've put in. Um, I, I actually, you know, the funding doesn't come just from the Chicago Land Muskie Hunters. Uh, so Blackhawk Muskie Club of Janesville, mm -hmm. you know, big big contributors. The FRV, they're part of the Muskie Zinc um, platform. We got the Flatlanders, the Muskie Zinc Midwest Muskie Club. We also have like independent, independent donators, uh, the Gilham Fund, Hugh Becker Foundation, DuPage Community Foundation, the Northern Trust, um, Bass Pro Shops, and uh, Dan Kuis. Those are all independent donators that just every year continue to come through and. Mm -hmm. I would say, you know, the the tournament, we do the best that we can with that. The, the whole point of the tournament is for the stocking effort. And we are a not-for-profit. Every single dollar from the tournament, every single dollar donated to the raffle, every single dollar goes towards that stocking fund. So I, I just want to make sure that people get that correct, you know. This is, mm -hmm. this is just all... A donation of our own time and, and to the fishery and, and we know it's there and it's for your kids and it's it's not just for us. Right on man. Um and I, I was gonna mention too, uh getting more towards the tournament side of things. Uh you guys put on an awesome dinner afterwards. There's uh raffles, there's all sorts of cool stuff there. So um it's not just going out there and fishing and trying to win the tournament. I mean, we'd all love to do that for sure. But the way I see this is you get to go out fishing for a day. You get to contribute to muskies in Lake Geneva. And then you can come. I mean, if you don't want to, don't. But I would recommend coming uh, to the dinner afterwards and all the raffles and that sort of thing. Because you guys do put on a pretty good spread. And that's at the, what, Lake Lawn on Lake Del if I'm right, right? Yeah. Yep. So um, at Lake Lawn Resort on Lake Delavan, uh, we're going to be in the Geneva room, same same as ever. And, you know, even this year, every heavy hitter that you could think of in the musky world has donated to this raffle. And, and we're already surpassed, you know, $8,000 worth of donations just for the raffle and that's you know for participants you can come get a plate 
this year we're going to have, you know, a chicken, steak, and veggie option, which which is uh, which is a lot better than previous years. But uh, yeah, we we put a lot of effort towards that banquet because the raffle, all proceeds go to the stocking of fish in the Lake Geneva, and the raffle is fun, and there's some great mm-hmm. prizes. I mean. Like I said, I, you know, I, I don't really want to go into the whole list of sponsors. I could I could have you flash uh, a picture that I've shown. But, I mean, it, it's ginormous. And all these heavy hitters, they go above and beyond. As long as it's mm-hmm. for, you know, not to mention that this this is for stocking, but we also, we also have a, a really big youth program. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, that's to put rods and tackle into kids hands who just want to get to fishing you know and so so that's kind of a cool thing i think that muskies inc does i mean muskies inc does a great job just just being a part of it Mm -hmm. is you know phenomenal as far as what they do for youth and fisheries and i mean even just cleaning up areas they hold they hold amazing events and through chapters like ours or yours you know that, that there's something to be said about that because it, it's a great organization, and even just working with Amy Keys and and the magazine, and you know there there's something that we need to we need to talk about with Muskie's Inc. because they're an unsung hero. That's that's for sure in my eyes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I, in fact, I'm I'm working with Muskie's Inc. this year. Uh, you know, talking about the lunge log, some of the data that can be used by biologists. Uh, from the lunge log, accurate measurements, uh, and just, you know, proper handling of fish. So, um, yeah, they, they do a lot of good work uh, as far as getting people educated, trying to get people into the sport. And that's what we need uh, when it comes right down to it. That's another one of those things that drives me nuts when guys get mad when they see, oh, there's more people musky fishing. It's like, what do you think we need? We need more people coming into the sport. I mean, is it going to be a little bit more crowded here and there? Yes. But... You have to have more people coming into it. It's going to drive dollars, and that's it's a thousand percent what you need is younger people getting into the sport to make it that much better. So, yeah, I mean, just they get involved with maintaining habitat, cleanup of certain fisheries, the youth program, stocking. I mean, it's endless, and it's. Um, I I would suggest if you're a musky angler and you have a club. Maybe in your area, you know, get involved. Every, everything helps mm-hmm. with that, and then, you know that that's the whole point of, behind Muskie's Inc. Absolutely. Well, um, I don't know if there's anything else that you want to touch on. I think we've kind of talked about uh, this burgeoning fishery that we have here in southeastern Wisconsin. Uh, is there anything else about the tournament? I will, of course, leave a link. Uh, for the tournament down below so you can click on that and go check that out as well but uh yeah i'm i am super excited about uh this amazing clear water cisco based uh musky fishery that we have coming up here in southeastern wisconsin it's pretty cool yeah i'm i'm super stoked to fish it with you thanks for having me Mm -hmm. um the one thing i do want to go over with you is maybe how to sign up so we're Mm -hmm. we run this tournament through the fish donkey app so what you have to do is download the Fish Donkey app, set up a profile, then you search 2024 Lady of the Lake. Um, boom. Sign up there. The registration will come to me, so all the emails and communications will come to me. That's drewmatusic at gmail.com. And then, um, you know, once you're signed up, you get your boat number, and I would suggest, if you're interested... Sign up as soon as you can because your boat number is issued to you based on when you register for it. So that's how you get released from the Livewell Check in Williams Bay. So sign up through the Fish Donkey app. Another question I get is live imaging allowed? Yes, it's it's allowed. I me as the tournament director, your hard earned money, go ahead and use it. Uh, we haven't had a problem with that in our tournament, so we're going to continue with that. Live imaging is now allowed, and I mean, it's about 
the fun and camaraderie that we have afterwards, especially, you know, the, the banquet's cool. Big, big uh, award ceremony for people who place. And then there's the raffle. And like I said, the, the raffle has over $8,000 worth of uh, prizes going on. So it's something to come to. The other thing I did want to touch on is we are giving away, if you show up to the banquet, two tickets per registered fisherman. So that would, so, you know, each ticket would be five bucks a ticket. So you're looking at 20 bucks a boat and that's free entry. And then, you know, add to that as much as you can. It all goes for a good cause. Mm -hmm. Awesome, man. Um, yeah. Well, and speaking of, uh, you were mentioning heavy hitters when you were talking about the uh, advertisers, but, uh, it's been cool the last couple of years, uh, speaking of other heavy hitters in the fishing industry, like Spence Petros, uh, he won it yeah. actually one year and he was, I was talking with him on the dock last year. It's cool to see him. I know uh, Alex Perrick, AP Basson, he's fished it the last couple of years. So, you, I mean, you've got guys, you've got, you know, Austin and Wiggerman and Andy out there. So you've got guys that are, you know, they're heavy hitters in the muskie community that are out here uh, trying to catch some muskies. And to the forward-facing sonar thing, <sighs> these fish out there are so tough. I don't think it makes that much of a difference. I don't think it gives you a huge advantage because if it did, we would have seen it the last two years. And uh, I don't want to discourage anybody from fishing this, but there's not been that many fish registered. As the fishery builds up more and more year after year, it's going to get better and better. But uh, as of right now, I mean, you just got to go out there and, I mean, we all know musky fishing is a lot of luck. So <laughs> just putting yourself in the right area, throwing the right baits and just chucking all day and uh, grinding out as us musky fishermen say is is what could uh, put you in the money so um i guess with that i don't have a whole lot unless you do man no it only takes one it's not a numbers right. tournament so uh i appreciate you having me like i said uh it's it's an honor to be on your platform and uh thank you for helping me with me with this and uh here's the three years buddy Absolutely, man. Well, third time's the charm, maybe. Maybe we can actually boat one this year and, and uh, put ourselves in the money. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I know. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking so forward to it. It's going to be fun no matter what happens. So uh, please, everyone, check this out. If you have any questions for us, leave them in the comments below. I will take them. If I can't answer them, I will uh, forward them on to Drew here, and we will get everybody taken care of. But uh, with that, I appreciate everyone of you watching this mess, and I'll see you on the next video.